Hey guys, this is James the Boom Boys. Now today, we just got back from a lake and we're actually at our farm by one of our ponds. We are taking the shad and we're gonna try something we've never done before. And we're gonna take the shad and we're gonna stalk this pond behind us with our leftover shad from the lake. Now, as a little boy, me and my brother in Kansas, we cast net in my grandfather's really small farm pond and actually caught shad in it. So we know that you can have shad in ponds. And also recently at a lake here in Oklahoma, uh, a guide at a lake, he was telling us that in his farm pond, he's got shad as well and they do well. So that really, really is interesting, especially you guys know sometimes of the year, it is tough to catch shad and to have them where you can just go in your farm pond and go cast net them. Man, that'd be an awesome, awesome thing. So we're gonna try it out to see if it works. Now, one thing that you wanna keep in mind whenever you're getting shad, like in Oklahoma, you can only transport 200 or less shad and every state's different so be mindful of that if you're going to try something like this because uh, i know like in the state of texas as well if you're transporting bait you actually can't even have more than i think a 35 gallon bait tank without having to get some permits that you're like a bait dealer or something like that here in oklahoma the law is just 200 or less. So keep that in mind uh, wherever you're at. If you're gonna try something like this, what your local laws, laws are on traveling with bait fish or shad. So we're just transferring them from the bait tank to here and we're gonna go ahead and carry them to the pond. Pretty pink bucket. So now this pond is really small. There's a couple reasons why we're using this pond. One is it really doesn't go dry. Two, there's no fish in here. So. We obviously didn't want to keep these bait fish if, if other fish are going to just eat them right away. Go, go that way, go that way, buddy, go that way. Oh, what happened to you? I don't think he made it on the journey. Some of them aren't swimming off, they're just like... They're just dazed. Yeah, they're, they are. They're like, what? They're probably in shock, to tell you the truth. Home sweet home, boys. They're like, yeah, yeah. Ooh, there's a nicer one. We didn't catch a bunch of really big ones, like what I would consider probably breeders, but good ones to start off with. Now go breed and multiply. Well, guys, we did it. We stocked our farm pond with shad. This is super exciting. It won't be if we come back and we can ever cast net or catch them means they died but man if they can actually reproduce in a farm pond here that would be unbelievable for us thank you so much guys for watching we will keep you updated periodically we'll come out here in a few weeks and we'll cast net see if we can actually catch some make sure they're still alive then after that if we do we'll uh, keep posting videos uh, of their growth along the way so hope you enjoyed the video guys we'll see you next time right <laughs> you're excited i know dude can't wait to cast net these shot, huh?